the the most interesting thing I think is in the field of type two diabetes because it's such an important disease. Um, if you look at the number of people being affected with type two diabetes, it's skyrocketing. So we had since the 1970s an increase in obesity. Then we had an increase in type two diabetes, and I think the most fascinating thing, the most promising thing I've heard in a long time is that you can actually start to reverse this disease by changing the diet. And I think what's interesting is that you have to understand that type 2 diabetes is largely a dietary disease. And so we treated it with drugs for a long time. And if you give drugs to a dietary disease, well, you're never going to fix it because you haven't identified the core problem and fixed it. You need to change the diet to fix that dietary problem, then the disease goes away. And now we have data on intermittent fasting, for example, and also uh, low carbohydrate diets. Dr. David Unwin published his data in the, in the UK on reversing type two diabetes with uh, reducing carbohydrates, which is showing that you can reduce about 50% of the people and put them into a completely drug-free remission state like basically cure 50% of those type two diabetics who are at risk of cancer, at risk of heart disease, at risk of strokes, at risk of blindness, at risk of kidney disease, nerve damage, infections. All these people you can fix just by changing their diet, either cutting down the carbohydrates or using intermittent fasting. And it's free and anybody can do it. I'm not talking about a drug that costs thousands of dollars. I'm not talking about a surgery which is only available to the, the, the 1%. I'm talking about a treatment, which is intermittent fasting, which is available to everybody in the entire world for free and yet has the power to completely reverse their disease and make them so much healthier. So the question is, why don't we do it? couldn't answer that question for you. <laughs> I try to do my part to tell people, but you know. Did you know I was going to ask you that question? Uh, no. <laughs> I was going to ask you, why don't we do it? <laughs> no, but what is I, systems, I, incentives, I, money? I think it is. I think big it's, pharma. you know, the real reason is I think that people are slow to catch new ideas. Like when people hear about new ideas, and I'm talking about academic doctors and so on, there's an intrinsic resistance to change. So I started talking about intermittent fasting, say 2016, when the obesity code was published. I talked about it, about reversing type two diabetes around the same time. Um, and uh, it's just, they're just very slow to say, hey, this makes a lot of sense because for them, they've invested so much in this calories in, calories out model. They've built their entire careers on saying that it's it's your fault that you're fat, right? It's, it's the foods that you ate, it's the calories that you ate instead of trying to get to a deeper understanding. So people are very reluctant to change. In fact, I mean, it's been 10 years and you see the public, the interest in intermittent fasting has skyrocketed and yet most doctors still won't prescribe it. They won't talk about it. They know nothing about it. There's how much teaching do doctors get about intermittent fasting and why it might be helpful? Probably zero. Like why? We have this amazing tool and people, you know, doctors call it a fad, right? It's a fad diet. Well, it's been around for 2000 plus years. That's a long, long, long fad, right? It's, it's proven effective. If you don't eat, you're going to lose weight. What's simpler than that? If you don't eat, you're going to use up your blood glucose. Your diabetes will get better. What's wrong with that? It's not hard to understand. The diabetes code, I've got the diabetes journal here in front of me. And put simply, it talks about step one being to put less sugar in and step two being burn the sugar off. Yeah. And, and step one, which relates to putting more sugar in, is all about um, low carbohydrate diets, right? Cutting down the carbohydrates. Uh, yeah, that's that's one effective way of cutting down the type 2 diabetes. In fact, the American Diabetes Association in their sort of um, nutritional journals, they talk about it uh, having the most scientific evidence of any diet. There's no diet with more evidence for reversing type 2 diabetes than cutting down the carbohydrates. And then step two about burning the sugar off, and that's where fasting comes into the picture. Yeah. 
I mean, if you think about it, there's, there's, it's, it's not that hard to understand. Everybody can understand it. You don't eat, you're going to lose weight, right? I mean, it's, it's such a simple, powerful tool, but it, it threatens the whole apple cart. All these doctors, all these professors, which have built their entire reputations, all these uh, systems that are in place Personal for people. <laughs> yeah, personal trainers uh, work on a different level because they talk about more exercise. Um, and whereas calories I talk in, about, calories out. I think yeah. when, when we talk about calories on this show sometimes, I think the people that get quite offended tend to be um, personal trainers because I think they would say, they've got case studies of telling one of their clients to monitor their calories and they saw a reduction in weight. So they, yeah. for them, that means it works, this calories in, calories out model. Um, it Again, it, it is that, but it's a simplistic understanding. That's, that's, that's my whole point. It's sort yeah. of like if I were to say to you, why did the Titanic crash, right? And most people would say, well, I hit an iceberg. Well, that's very simplistic. That's not the right answer. 